a 29 years old programmer, Ikaru Suzuki. Exhausted, he finally has a chance to sleep, only to wake up and find himself in a fantasy RPG world, mashed together from the game he debugged in reality. In this new place, he notices that not only has his appearance changed to that of a younger version of himself, but his name has also changed to Satu, the nickname he uses while running beta tests in the game. Then, what will happen next? How many girls end up captivated by Sata's good looks and abilities? Watch till the end. As soon as he entered this game world, he saw the lizard man that was heading towards him. Sata was also hit by the lizardman's attack. As a result, he panicked and immediately activated three meteor magic at once so that they all died from the meteor attack, and his level increased drastically. But, there was still a lizard man who managed to survive. Fortunately, Sata managed to defeat him. Sata checked his status, which had risen to level 310. He increased his meteor magic skill, and did a test of the skill to confirm the resulting explosive power. However, the effect of the meteor explosion was too great. Luckily, he managed to get out of that place. Sata used some of the items he had obtained when defeating the lizard men. Not only that, Sata strengthened himself by adding his skill level. In the middle of Sata's journey to a nearby kingdom, he was attacked by a wife and dragon. Sata was not injured because he had reached level 310. The dragon immediately fled after being thrown by a stones. However, the dragon instead headed towards the royal soldiers and attacked them. One of the mage of the army tried to attack Wyfern, but she was thrown into the sky instead. Luckily, Sata was quick to react by jumping in and saving her. The girl was grateful and fell in love with Satu, the girl named Xena. Xena's friends come who suspect Satu. Sata reacts by using a lying skill so they believe Sata's words and bring him into the kingdom. Arriving there, Sata made a business card and registered it with a level 1 status because Sata wanted to hide his true status from others. He was given a life contract, which had to be renewed every 10 days, otherwise he would become a slave in a kingdom. Sata was looking for an inn when suddenly a girl named Martha grabbed his arm and took him somewhere. Martha brought Sata to her inn, he decided to stay there. He took Martha shopping at the market and meet two girls who were being bullied, he immediately helped them. It turned out that they were demi-humans who had become slaves. Feeling tired after accompanying Martha shopping, Sata returned to the inn. In the morning, Sata was visited by Xena, who invites him to tour the city. On the way, they saw three slaves being bullied in public. Sata found out the mastermind behind the incident. He silently paralyzed them all and beat him up. Later, Sata said that they had been fooled by the master of the slaves and only wanted to take advantage of the money from the residents who threw stones at his slaves. Suddenly the figure of a demon monster emerged from the master's body. The demon immediately moved them all into the labyrinth including Satu and Xena. Inside the labyrinth, Satu was separated from Xena. He gathered with the three slaves who had been bullied before. Because the three of them don't have a names, Sata gives a names to all of them. Their name is Liza, Pochi, and Tama. Sata gave Liza a weapon to protect them from the labyrinth monsters, while Pochi and Tama were in charge of monitoring the surrounding area. Moments later, they encountered a monster, but Sata was able to easily defeat it. Then Liza took a core from the monster, which turned out to be a monster core that could be sold. Sata intends to level up the three of them to become stronger. After passing through various obstacles, their level increased and grew stronger. Somewhere, they meet the soldiers who were having a hard time fighting the slime monster. Satu and the others came to help and defeat the monster. Not long after, Sata reunited with Xena. They found a treasure chest. In that chest there is a demon monster. The demon immediately hypnotized them all to fight each other. Sata thinks fast by immobilizing Liza, Pochi, and Tama so they don't fight each other. Sata loses focus so that he is attacked by another monster and makes him fall to the bottom of the abyss, but he still survives. Sata goes back upstairs using a mask to keep his true power hidden from others. He fought the demon and threw stones at him. Suddenly a very powerful giant demon appeared. Sata managed to hurt him using fire magic. For his final attack, 
Sazi used his magic sword to slash the demon and managed to defeat it. After conquering the labyrinth, they all returned to the surface safely, Liza, Pochi and Tama were made as sad as slaves, not enough with him. Sata bought two human slaves, they are Lulu and Arisa. When he saw Arisa, Sata was a little suspicious of her. Because of hunger, he took them all out for dinner, and Sata also bought new clothes for all of them. He plans to rent some rooms for them. But, because there were no more empty rooms, Liza, Pochi, and Tama could only sleep in the stable. Meanwhile, Lulu and Arisa are sleeping in the room with Satu. Because they are used to being slaves, Lulu and Arisa intend to give their hot service, but he refuses them. While he was sleeping, Arisa was on top of him and forced Satu to make love to him with her teasing skill. However, Satu managed to come to his senses and immediately ordered Arisa not to use her skill again. Yeah, if only Arisa was a little older, maybe it would be a different story. The reason why Arisa did this is because Arisa is attracted to Satu, or it could be interpreted that Satu is the type of boy Arisa wants. Arisa explains herself as someone from Japan who has reincarnated into that world. That's why Arisa finds out that Satu is Japanese too. Sata asks why Arisa become a slave, and Arisa tells that she used to be a princess, thanks to her memories in her previous life making her kingdom richer. But someone has betrayed her and destroyed her kingdom. As a result, Arisa, who is the princess, is forced to become a slave. In the midst of that downturn, the kingdom was attacked by a demon. So Arisa and Lulu were forced to flee into the forest. What they didn't expect, in the forest they met and were taken by slave traders. The following morning, Zena visits Satu again and is very shocked to see Sata sleeping with Arisa and Lulu. Satu immediately went to see her, so that there would be no misunderstanding. Sata asks Zena on a date, he wants to find a place to live with Zena, and they meet Nadi, a woman who does odd jobs as a maid, she helps Sata find a suitable place to live for him, but all the places shown are not liked by Satu. Satu and Zena continue to watch the drama show, while they are watching the show, suddenly the city is attacked by an insect monster, Satu and the others fight against the monster, one of the monsters broke into Nadi's house instead. Luckily Nadi was saved by her manager who is an elf. In short, the insect monsters were defeated. While Sata was walking around the city, he accidentally encountered a shadow monster and defeated them all. They tortured the rat man who was protecting a princess. Because he has no acquaintances in the city, Sata decides to take them to Nadi's house to treat their wounds. Apparently the princess is an elf named Mia. Sata entrusts Mia to Nadi so that he can rest at his inn until the next morning he returns to see Mia's condition. Nadi, who knew Satu as a merchant, she offered Satu a horse carriage to carry his goods. Satu immediately buys it and asks Lulu to teach him how to ride a horse carriage. In the middle of his practice, Satu saw a suspicious owl. After Lulu managed to teach Satu to ride a horse carriage, Satu went to visit Mize the rat man who had saved Mia. Mize told him that Mia was being targeted by a mysterious wizard. Suddenly, a wizard appears who intends to kidnap Mia. The wizard is Zen. Sata fights against him. Harisa uses her unique skill and manages to injure Zen. However, Zen immediately took Mia away from there. Seeing that, Sata immediately chased after him, but instead made him trapped in the shadow dimension. Sata managed to get out of the dimension and directly confronted Zen. Unfortunately, Sata was immediately moved out of the labyrinth. He has to explore the maze starting from the first floor. Then, Sata meets Loli Dryad, who can move him to the 100th floor. However, Sata must give his magical energy to the Loli. When he arrived at the 100th floor, Sata meets three female homunculus and an iron golem. He can easily defeat the iron golem. Homunculus 7 decide to fight Sata alone. However, Sata manages to knock her unconscious, while homunculus 5 and 6 escaped to another place. Sata made it to the 200th floor and meets with Sin. He said that he would give the Holy Sword if Sata succeeded in defeating all the homunculus under him. He fought them all very fiercely. But again and again Sata managed to beat them all. Sata approached Sin and got the Holy Sword. Sin told to Sata that he was a reincarnation. After getting a new life, he lives happily with his wife. However, a nobleman snatched his wife and killed all of his family. As a result, Zen intends to take revenge and slaughter the nobles there. However, 
Once his goal is achieved, Zen intends to die in order to be reunited with his wife. But the gods grant him immortality, that's why Zen asked Sata to kill him. Sata finally granted his request. The place is about to be destroyed. Sata asks Mia to save all the homunculus by taking them away from there. While he went to save homunculus 7 who was on the ground floor. But just as he was about to take her away from there, suddenly a big wave chased him, and it forced him to upgrade his skills to survive the waves. He managed to survive and was reunited with the others. Since their master had died, the homunculus wanted to go with Satu, but Sata could only accept one of them. She was given the name Nana. Sata returns to the city and meets Zena. She is very worried about Sata because Zena likes him. He intends to leave the city to take Mia home. Before that, Zena asked Sata to take her with him, but Zena had to wait a year before being able to go with Satu, because she has to wait until her brother is ready to rule the kingdom to replace her. Then she can be free to go anywhere. You could say the long-distance relationship between Satu and Zena. They then meet a group of rat men. Mia thanked them, because one of their friends had saved her when she was about to be kidnapped by Zen. Mia then prayed for rat man who had died protecting her. They continued their journey and stopped at a bar, Sata treating everyone in the bar. Out of his kindness, a butler took Sata to a special room to give him hot service on a cold night. The following day, Sata went to a city to buy some potion ingredients. When he got there, he was interested in magic scrolls. So Sata decided to disguise himself when buying it because that thing was illegal. Sata entered the forest of illusions alone to try the magic scrolls. Suddenly, he was attacked by the guards there. Luckily, Sata managed to defeat them. A witch appeared and invited Sata to go to her house. There he meets and became acquainted with a witch's disciple named Inamana. Sata was given a prescription for a healing potion, provided that Sata would deliver a letter to the viceroy's assistant. When Sata wanted to go to workshop, he sees an Inamana being chased by criminals, he tried to help her, Moments later, an Inamana had an accident that destroyed the potion she was carrying and left only 120 vials. On that incident, they reported to the Viceroy's assistant, but he still wanted 300 vials. Sata begins to suspect him and manages to conclude that he intends to seize the Forest of Illusions and become the ruler of his territory. Knowing this, Sata plans to make a new potion. Sata asked for help to the bottle maker so he could help him. They made potions and the bottles at the same time. While the bottles was being heated, suddenly the criminals came and destroyed the bottle burning place. However, Sata managed to secure all of his bottles using his inventory skill and successfully completed 300 potions. Sata sent the potion to the viceroy's assistant, but he didn't want to give the receipt. Suddenly a noble named Kuhanu appeared. He was very disappointed in his confidant. Kahanu intended to revoke the privilege granted to him angered the Viceroy's assistant and attacked Kahanu. The attack didn't have any effect on Kahanu's body. He intended to kill him. However, Sada managed to prevent that action. For his crimes and ill will, the Viceroy's assistant will be imprisoned. All the problems cleared, Sada continued his journey. Feeling unwell, Nana asked Sada to transfer magical energy to Nana's body so she can recover her strength. On the other hand, Zena gets a letter from Satu about his journey. Satu wakes up from his sleep and enjoys his harem life in the game world. <laughs> That's the whole story of the Death March to the Parallel World Rhapsody. If you like anime like this, please check other videos or select the videos that appear on your screen. Take care of your health and see you in the next video.